Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. So today I'm going to be doing a glute injection or an intramuscular butt injection. Um, last week I went to the doctor and they showed me how to do my injection in the proper way. So for about 10 years I was doing my injection center mass and I have some new tools to use and I'm going to show you how to do an inject or how I do my injection with one hand. Um, it's something that I learned a long time ago and it's pretty easy to do once you figure it out. So here we go. So I've got this new vial here and it's called a um, smart tip. It's like made of plastic. I've never used it before. And it was really, it was really cool to see them, um, to see, see them use it. And so if I can, I can't even open the package. There we go. All right, so then I've got my little bottle of testosterone. Um, it's brand new. And even though there's people out there on YouTube that say, hey, it's brand new, you need to wipe it. So here you go, that this one's for you. So wipe that off, make sure that's clean. So this smart tip is like made of plastic and it's like a knife. It's it's very interesting. So we're gonna we're gonna try it, all right, here we go. That's weird. I don't know if I like that. Though it's really easy to pull the testosterone into the vial. That's really easy. Oh, I forgot to push air into the bottle. And now it's like pulling the syringe back into the bottle, which is something that All right, that's interesting. It like doesn't actually make a, you can't see it, but it doesn't make a hole. But anyways, all right. So pull the, all the testosterone out of the syringe or out of the, the head itself, and then put the cap back on. And then today I'm gonna actually be using a 23 gauge needle um, I did get some 25 gauge needles from the um, doctor, but I'll use a 25 gauge needle on my next time I do my injection for all of you um, in my leg. So I'll, I'll, I'll rate the difference between what it's like to use a 25, um, a 25 gauge needle and a 23 gauge needle um, as far as pain and, and how long it takes so now what I'm doing is I am pushing the testosterone all the way into the tip of the needle, getting rid of all the air. And I'm a little bit below my typical dosage because I've never used one of these smart tips before. And honestly, I'll probably never use this ever again because I use such a low amount that I can actually, this the hole in this thing is huge. And with a needle, with a 21 gauge needle, I can pretty much pull my direct dosage in a really like precise manner versus that thing. If you, if you obviously, if you're using like one ML or something bigger, then that thing is probably like a go-to um, instead of using a needle. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just recap this. I know you're not supposed to, but um, I wanna show you all how I do my injection with one hand, all right? So all of you, um, it's kind of it's simple. I just put it between these two fingers. So I'll pull the kind of the syringe back and, and this, is the, this is the syringe. So what I do is I, I hold the needle between my two fingers like this, kind of like with your thumb and your index finger with chopsticks. So what I do is I hold it like this and what I do is I place the plunger I'll pull it back a little bit more. I place the plunger in between my two fingers. And just like that, that's exactly how I do it. And that is my one-handed injection. So what I'll do is I'll stab myself like this. And then what I do is I just pull my fingers, pull my entire hand, all my fingers, towards my the palm of my hand. And as you see, the plunger goes in. And I'll just do it like that. And that's pretty much my injection. And then I'll just do, I'll just pull it right out. So I haven't done this in 
like over five years. So it's going to be fun and interesting. Um, make sure the needle's straight. It's just something that I, I have a pet peeve over. And then I've got, um, I've got the, uh, whatever it's called here. Oh, all right. So, well, so here, here, we'll just pull this down just a little bit. So you guys can see, I don't need to show you too much of my butt because TikTok will probably ban me like they normally have. But what we do is here's my butt crack. So what we'll do is we'll go just do it for all of you, right? So we'll go, this is kind of hard to do, but we'll go a line all the way across. And then from the center, right, we'll go up. So that looks about right. So it's gonna be, the shot is gonna be going in this area right here, this little meaty spot right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep my, prep without getting any of the marker in the area. What I'm gonna do is I really want the alcohol to dry. Just gonna let that dry. So I can actually raise this up a little bit more. So it's going in right there. The love, that's crazy because I'm putting an injection in here and I used to go all the way down here. All right, so we're gonna wait for that to dry a little bit more. Center mass, yeah, well, whoo, this is getting a little, getting a little sweaty. Um, it's been a while since I've done this. All right, let's do it. Let's not think about it because one of the things with doing your testosterone injection is by the time you draw it up, you, you swab the area. If you wait to do your testosterone injection, you put it down, walk back, like you don't want to do it because you don't want to stab yourself because you don't want it to hurt. You want to deal with the pain and all that stuff. Another thing is I'm going to be standing on my left leg. So I'm going to be putting all my weight on my left leg while I just give myself a little jab. And, and these things are so sharp that I used to put it on my skin, like directly up against my skin and slowly push it in. And I could feel like the needle inching into my body. Um, but I'm going to just do it. All right, here we go. All right, so all my weight on one leg. All right, three, two, one. Done. Just like that. A little bit of blood, tiny bit, tiny little bit of blood, not much. You know, just keep rubbing that. And that's that. So I didn't even feel it. I'll usually put a bandaid on it, but eh, I, I don't want to deal with putting a bandaid on, on it over there. So um, it's been a while since I've done a one-handed injection, but that didn't hurt. I didn't even feel it. I didn't even feel it go in. Um, it's way easier for me mentally to do my injection with one hand into my um, gluteal butt area than it is to use the auto injector and do it in my legs. Um, I don't know why, but it's just way easier for me. So for all of you on YouTube, um, hopefully that you like this video and, and uh, we're just trying to raise more awareness for Kleinfelder syndrome 47XXY. Hopefully all of you guys enjoy and uh, we'll talk to you soon.